Hey, hey, welcome back to Doc's Boost, and in this episode of Doc's Boost, it's purge valve time. <laughs> well, I'm throwing a code, a P0443 code. It's all about the purge valve. Now, it said it could be any number of things. It could be the circuits or the hoses and leaks and all that kind of stuff. It's been kind of intermittent. Sometimes the engine light will be on, sometimes it's not, but as soon as I get on it, it's gonna pop on there so something in that stream is not working the way it should be i did a physical inspection really quick and everything looks perfect so i just went and bought me a purge valve for about 60 bucks at the parts store and i'll share the part number with you and i'm gonna install that purge valve right now but before we get started and all that, you know the drill. Make sure that you click the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell to set notifications for all the new stuff coming your way. Leave some comments down below right here on YouTube about your journeys with upgrades and maintenance and modifications. Share it with the rest of the community because it really does matter and I appreciate your support. <laughs> what we're going to be doing down here is remove this cover to inspect the connections for hoses and wiring, that's an 11, that's an 11. We've got a couple of bolts here. All right, that's what we got back here, is that whole canister assembly. And it looks like everything's connected. The hoses don't feel like they're bad. No liquid in there, and that's what I was after to make sure there was no liquid in there. Like fuel kind of a thing. And physically it looks like everything's connected. Well, let's slap this stuff back in place and go replace that purge valve up front. Me to get to the purge valve, which is right there, I have to take all this off. So I've got these clamps to take off, and there's four of these bolts to take off, a couple of wire connectors, and we're golden. Five sixteenths for the clamps. And the locks. And the lock. There you go. And no, I need. Well, I should get this out of the way. Take that off. This out of the way. All right. We're going to take the clamps out of the way. Get that out of the way. And these. Now we're going to do eight millimeter to get those off. Probably got a little longer extension than I really need. But what the heck, right? I don't want to get too close to my work. After the throttle body, then all we got to do is get the elbow off. And we'll be home free on accessing that purge valve. You just got your monkey sister. Yeah, I was supposed to get her some. I told her. I didn't say that. So I that's exactly what you said. <laughs> well, I gave her that fuck off look. Well, I'm sure you did. <laughs> and I conveniently forgot. I had to go to Ford. And off comes the elbow. Color that easy, right? Well, okay, what did I do with the right size? <laughs> I, I got it stuck here somewhere. <laughs> oh gosh, there's that one. I got the swivel one. I don't want the swivel is one. This is this it? This is it. This has got to be it. 
Yeah, here we go. All right. So it's not so bad after all, right, Paul? I mean, yeah, geez. easy peasy. Heck, look at that. This breezes right on and breezes right off. Ta-da! <laughs> How much easier could it possibly get? Exchange for exchange. Sure glad it's the right part. And that's got to go down that way. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, it goes like this. Yeah, it goes like that. <laughs> you got to get orientated here. Got that on. And I have no idea. I think it was this bolt right here. I hope it is, because that's the one I'm going to use. <laughs> Let's see. And I got an 8 millimeter nut driver handy. We are rocking and rolling now. Let's turn that light off. I probably screwed all my great footage because I had too much light on it. But, and I ain't going back. <laughs> I am moving forward. And we're going to put this on there. The old 8 millimeter. Super long. Got that, got that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Pop that out of there. We don't care if any dirt gets in there. Yeah, we do, but there ain't going to be any dirt getting in there. All right. Might as well clean that up. Right, before we get go any further, we're going to clean all the dirt out of there because that's who I am. I've been wanting to do this for a while anyway. Do what? You won't even want to clean that spot that no one ever sees? Yeah, I want to clean that spot that no one ever sees because I know it'll be dirty. Sweet. Man, it looks so much better in there now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No. All right, here we go. No, that's not first. This is first. Still got the seal in place. Uh, get it put the light in the crack. I know. It's just cocked. Yeah, I know. I'm going to start at one of these others to get it suspended anyway. Okay, get it started. It was pretty easy going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. that I'm sure glad my fingertips have eyes <laughs> all right there we go we got that back on we got that back on let's just put this stuff back together get that just make sure that we got the connector here we're gonna put the connector on it is up all the way there's that oh that's for the throttle body i <laughs> think whoa whoa what did i do there get that clip put this clip on there put this in there ready to rock and roll I'm going to pop that in there and clip it in place. Ta-da! We're there. Got that. Got that. Electrical connector. That's in place. Put this back on here. And pull the clamp back down. There we go. That's back in place. Let's put this back on while we're at it. Looking good. Big old Whipple 68 millimeter. All right. Set my elbow to the proper torque. Okay, 
Okay, they're all even steven. Connector in and locked. Connector in and locked. When you're tightening the clamps on the cold air, you want to make sure that you don't over tighten them because you could distort the tube and you probably won't get a good seal and there's also a possibility of cracking that tube. So just be careful. Good, 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 good. Good. It looks like we've got the job done. We are in business, and all we got to do is clear the codes, make sure the codes stay away. And we're going to clear the codes, and then we will take it for a test drive. And usually what's been happening is that uh, I can clear the codes, and sometimes when I start it in the morning, the code won't even be on. But as soon as I start running, the code comes right back. So we are going to... Read codes of PO433. There you go. There it is, the PO433. So now we're going to clear the codes. And it says that we're clear. It says we turn the key off. I'm going to turn the key off. I'm going to turn the key back on because I'm going right to the read codes and make sure that they are actually gone. And we'll see that they will be actually gone. They're gone. No codes. Cool. So we are done. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the car. Just for the heck of it, make sure that it starts. You got all the in place. There is no check engine light on, so we know that that, and that would be right there if we did. The trunk's still a jar, but it thinks it's a jar, but it's not. It's a trunk. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put the car in the ground and go test drive. Test drive time is rolling along. Hasn't turned on yet. But whenever I gun it for the first time, that's when it usually pops back on. So we're going to try it out right now. And we're going to nail it here. Whoa! So, and it's off! Yeah, it stayed off. So purge valve is successful. It was just that easy. It was just that easy. And you can keep the excitement alive by clicking on the video that I selected for you right there. And I'll see you in that video in just a few minutes. But before you go there, subscribe, like, and ring that bell because it really does matter and I appreciate your support.